I've got a Hank and Henry mystery box. So if you want to see what I got, stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Bandit's hanging around with me. He just climbed on the table that I need to put everything out on. And um, Chloe is off watching TV, just kind of hanging out, doing her own thing. But if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. We do all kinds of unboxings, unbaggings, get ready with me's, collaborations, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. So I am on the Hank and Henry list, like because I bought a mystery box from them before. So they sent me something and they said, we've got like all this stuff, all these mystery things. And I was like, well, all right, I'll, I'll get one of their mystery bags. And then when I was checking out, they're like, hey, why don't you get another one for half price? I was like, oh, yeah, why don't I? And then afterwards, I was like, why, why did I? But I did, and it's here. So that's that story. All right, I have everything out. Um, I'm guessing one of these goes with each one. I think they're probably both handheld mirrors. Um, yeah, this says handheld mirrors, and this doesn't, but they're the same kind of box, so I'm guessing one of these goes with each one. Each bag is supposed to have 24 items in there, and um, this was the original one I ordered, and then this was the one they offered me at half price, so I was like, that's a really good deal. I don't know. That's, that's all I can say about that. So I'm guessing that each one comes with a mirror. So here is the tie-dye one. That might end up with my daughter, however, because she loves tie-dyeing. And this one, I am going to guess, looks like this. So it's probably brown because that one was like that. That's just my guess. But it's a lot of work to get into. All right, so bag number one. Now these... Um, are signed on the bottom and um, cute little design and then while they are bucket bags they do have like this kind of material inside so it does close which I think is nice we got nine brushes I'm wondering if this counts towards the 24 I'm guessing it does this is probably nine of the 24 um, but very nice brushes and the Hanky and Henry brushes. I do have a couple of them. They are very, very nice. These look like, um, mostly eye brushes. We have the Living in Color palette. Now, if you've never tried the Hank and Henry brand, the colors are very, very rich. Um, I do like them. I do like rich colors and I do know how to kind of play them down. So, um, and that being said, you can take any color that's very rich and make it a lighter color. I just really like some of the really bold colors. They just delight me. So we have a mixture of some mattes and some shimmers and absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And these are things like you can take these nude colors here, you know, these more natural colors, and then throw in like a little pop of color and still have a good everyday look. We have a sex talk palette so again we have some neutrals but some really pretty kind of pops of color in there all right we have a couple of cheery mattes and these are cherry mattes these are what are these they're in jitterbug judy and brick House spelled H A U S and liquid mousse matte lipstick. Okay, neither of these are going to be colors that I'm going to use. I will show you them. Now, that one maybe, maybe, but I'm not sure. This one definitely not. Well, I don't know. 
I mean, see, I'm looking at this color and I'm like, no, that's not a color I'm going to put on my lips. But then I look at this and I'm like, oh, but that's pretty. We have a Luster Do Highlighter. And let's see, there is no shade. Oh, Fairy Fly. Well, um, so the peanut gallery has joined me, so who knows what she might say. Um, so this is the color. That is a, woo, that's a bright color. Ooh, it is. A little bit, can't really see. Wow, that makes for such an amazing pumpkin costume. Here we go. Oh, it's a pretty color though. I think that blends very nicely. Like, yeah. Eye, eye cheeks, lips, a cream mousse in, I don't know. Oh, Coralie. I will say I, in my other box, I got one of these in like a burgundy color and it's so gorgeous on the cheeks. So here it is. It's this pretty coral color. So that would be gorgeous on the cheeks and um, on the lips, I think it'd be a nice light color and another one in Supreme. So this looks like it's going to be a much darker color. That to me would be more of an eye color if I choose to keep it, which I may not. Next is some color canvas paints in yellow. This is a multi-use cream. Um, and this would be, I think, more um, for kind of doing a super kind of bold look um, because it is like this yellow because I got one in blue the last time, which I have not used. And um, I don't know that I will necessarily use that either, but you know, maybe. And I also got it in this shoe. This is, let's see, this shade is called yellow. This one is called baby blue. I think my other one is a turquoise blue. It's a lot of stuff in here, I have to say. We have a, another highlighter in Cleopatra, and this is a real pretty gold. We have two Luster Glows. These are illuminating primers in bronze, gold, and opal. We'll check these out. Okay, so there is the bronze. Here is the opal. Now this looks a little closer to a skin tone that I could wear. So I'll pump a little bit out for you. And I keep trying to just get a little bit, but I tend to, that first pump is always like a lot. All right, but all wiped in like you can, it doesn't really, there's a little bit of color there, but not a ton. This is perfect for me for the summertime though. And then there are two more highlighters in here. Um, we have, Rose, Sosa, Ro Sosa Rosa, and Honey Bunny. And I'm going to guess that this is a rose gold. All right, so it's that pretty, pretty pink. And again, it looks really bold there, but as I showed you, when you just put like a little sprinkle on, you, um, you can really tame that down. And there is the Honey Bunny. Okay, so that is bag number one. Bag number two, also signed on the bottom. Already on the top, while I do see a bunch of brushes, they are different brushes. We have more face brushes in here. So lovely. These are some wonderful brushes too. So already on top, I do see a duplicate palette. I'm hoping not everything in here is a duplicate. That's all sealed up. I'm going to keep it that way. Oh boy. It does look like it. Got this again. There are two different colors in the lip product. There is Fat Cat and Patty Cake. So there is Fat Cat. That looks like a nice nude. And here is Patty Cake. Now again, with the frosting, it is kind of hard. So I will take um, screenshots of what the colors actually look like. We have the eyes, lips, and cheek in Ferrera and Gothas. So there is the um, Ferra, maybe F E R R A. 
So that is a, it's a nice red. I think that's like a, a watermelon red. It is. It's a real pretty purple. That would make a nice eyeliner. Okay, we have the Illuminating Primer in Light Gold and Gold. So two different shades. So there is the Light Gold. And there is the Gold. Now that looks yellow in the camera, but it does not look that yellow in person. It does look more gold in person. We have two more of those colored canvas paints in pink and W2, which looks to be maybe like a brownish orange, or peachy color maybe. Let's take a look. That's okay. So it's probably like a peachy orangey. It's not bad. And four more of these luster highlighters. We do have a repeat in the Fairy Fly. And then we have Supernova or Supernova. I'm not really sure. It's like a very fancy script. Um, a Honey Bunny, that's also a repeat. And the Sosa Rosa is also a repeat. So I'm not even going to unseal those because I did just open those up and show them to you. That's the Supernova. Yes, yeah, Super. All right, so it says on the back Supernova. S U P A. Okay, so uh, that's interesting. Let's try that out. I gotta, I gotta try that out because that looks so unusual. So you could lighten that up definitely by using a little bit less. I just tried to get enough on my hand so you could actually see it. But yeah, very pretty. Okay, so I'm a little disappointed that there were duplicates um, only because they kind of made it seem like there wouldn't be by saying like, hey, do you want another one for half off? It wasn't like you may get the same products. Um, but I mean, I think there was enough of different things also, and it also gives me an opportunity to share some of these wonderful products with family and with my friends out there. So, um, keep watching. You never know when a giveaway is going to show up. And, um, if you might not see some of these Hank and Henry products in there. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending a little time with me. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and hopefully... I'll see you soon.